Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George Clark and today I get to check out the classic centipede horror released on Blu-ray from Error 4444. Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, like the video and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. So, in the later half of 2022, I had seen this new uh, label kicking around Instagram, uh, promoting their two releases that were Centipede Horror and Red Spells Red. Uh, two movies that I had never really rushed out to try and find before, but what these guys were offering uh, with their restoration and the little extra bits that came with it kind of got me excited. Now they were a little bit pricier, but they were selling out extremely quick. Uh, so I realized I had to get my mucky paws on these no matter what. And I missed out on some pretty damn good deals. Uh, there was a lot of bundle offers, things like that. But I did manage then to get my hands on a copy of each, which I was super excited for. Um, so thankfully, this week they arrived. Um, now I was a bit dubious because it was a bit more expensive uh, and the postage was slightly extortionate. But when this box arrived, then I kind of understood why, because it wasn't just two Blu-rays I was buying. There was a lot more include, <laughs> included in here. So when I open this box, I will show you just what I got because it is pretty well packed. So of course inside was lots of bubble wrap, which we see uh, And here we have got, I'm just gonna set that box down first. Here we have got initially the two releases. Look at these, are, oh my God. Are these not like the most gorgeous bloody things you've ever seen? Absolutely beautiful with this silky smooth reflective surface oh my god and then on the back we have got i need to do this properly because it is so worth it i mean these are two of the best designed blu-ray releases i have ever seen they are fucking gorgeous and this is this is only one of two of their their design uh, sleeve designs that they were releasing i kind of wanted i love this uniformed look of the black uh, and I think it works a treat. And look at this on the back, you know, having the centipede and scorpions. And again, with that reflective um, look to it, these are just fecking stunning. So not only were the Blu-rays in there, Jesus, there's a lot. There's also an envelope packed. I mean, absolutely jammed, packed with stickers, uh, lobby cards, postcards, Booklets, everything. I mean, it's fucking beautiful. Jesus. Okay, <laughs> we have a, a poster for Red Spells Red, which I'm not gonna share with you until the next video because I'm doing Centipede Horror first. These posters look huge, massive. Not only that, then there's, uh, what else? Extra posters here we've got. We've got Atoma, a, Atomia Extinction, a Splatterpunk Odyssey by Yoshiro Nishimura. Uh, some extra posters again. Oh, it's all the same, same film. Okay, so this is obviously coming from them. Um, Funky Forest, First Contact, and again, the Warped Forest there. So you're not just buying Blu-rays with this lot. You're getting so much more. And of course, uh, a, a sticker of uh, Error 4444's own uh, label design there, their own, their own logo, which is fabulous. I've got to find a little prize place to put that to and add that. So anyway, I'm gonna do a centipede horror first um, because I had to pick one. I don't wanna do both. They both deserve to have their own video. Uh, it's just gonna take me a little bit of time to filter through this collection of stuff to see uh, what goes with it. <laughs> and then we'll get started. Okay, so I think I've managed to separate them properly. Uh, they are fairly easy to distinguish. Uh, one is green, one is red, and that color carries through all their extra bits here. So of course, the first I wanna share with you is Centipede Horror, uh, directed by Lee Pak Ling, uh, sometimes known as Keith Lee, uh, starring Margaret Lee, Michael Moy, 
and Stephen Yip, who helps with the assistant as an assistant director, uh, along with Jimmy Luke, who did Robotrix and was a, a big Shaw Brothers bit part actor. Sorry. Um, so yes, there's. I'm, I'm excited to finally see this. This is one movie I've heard forever about and never had the chance to actually pick up and get stuck into. But before I open that up, I want to get these extras, uh, extra bits shown to you so I can get them off my knee and not worry about dropping them. So first up is a little sticker here, uh, <laughs> which is pretty cool. I don't know if I will peel it off and use it. I might just keep it in the, the Blu-ray um, so that it's just always there as a little collector's piece. Uh, we have a couple of photos here of the actresses. I'm not sure which um, one comes from which film as yet, but I'm just going to show you them both. And I will do the same whenever I do Red Spills Red in its video. And then on the back you have the, the Error 4444 um, logo, which is lovely. That's another couple of wee bits. Then we have got some... Stickers again. I think these are stickers. The first one is this gorgeous little piece of art. Uh, again, this is just a, a black, a blank backing, but a uh, lovely, wee, lovely wee piece to go with. And this one. I mean, what, what a collection! This is fantastic. Lobby cards we have on the back. They've all, they all carry this centipede horror uh, title and logo. And then on one side we have this. Then we got this. Who doesn't love a classic Hong Kong horror? Bit of black magic, some creepy insects, or insects I should say, because it's gonna be full of it, no doubt. Um, but yeah, this is again a title that has been on um, my list for some amount of time. Uh, and I, I, again, I've just never, there's been a lot of other movies that I've wanted to get before getting to this, but once I saw what, what, um, Error 4444 were putting into it and it coming out as a restoration, I, I just had to jump on it. Uh, this is the book that comes with it here. Uh, gorgeous, uh, gorgeously drawn front cover and on the back. I'm going to say that this is going to be a movie I don't think I will manage to get my husband to watch. But I'm going to try. Curses sort of. Wow. This is lovely. I mean, it feels good. Yeah, it feels lovely, actually. Really smooth paper. Um, but lots of writings. Some really nice stuff there. Wow. Beautiful. Well done. Very, very nice. Very nice. Uh... This is going to make for a fun read, but yeah, fantastic little book. Excited to get stuck into that. And then we have this ginormous, fucking hell, ginormous, ginormous, ginormous poster. Oh my God almighty. I mean, that is thick card that, oh, no wonder you couldn't fold that up and put it into the DV, uh, to the Blu-ray case. It, it just, it wouldn't work. It'd be like putting a brick in a Blu-ray. Look at this though. So, that is just fucking amazing. I'm not too sure who the artist is, but I like it. This, this, I mean, wow. It's like a comic book. It's like I've just picked up the front cover of a centipede horror comic book. Absolutely beautiful. And on the other side, the original artwork or Thai artwork for centipede horror. And I think this was kind of similar to the other design of the Blu-ray uh, sleeve that they had going, um, which I, I really liked, but I just, that black uniform look was really calling out to me. And I think for sure, this is absolutely my favorite of them. And this is the one that has to go in to the frame without a doubt. That is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. <gasps> Okay, here we go. Right. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so I've shown you this uh, numerously, but I can't get over it. And then on the other side, the uh, the picture of the uh, centipede here, which is great. Inside here, we pull it out with the same artwork in a clear Blu-ray case. And that, that slip cover is pretty sturdy. You can see here on the side, the title, um, number four. So I, I read spells red is number five. 
Have I missed something? Is there other Hong Kong releases from them? I've got to go back and check that out. Um, okay, then I need to get into this. Um, bum, bum, bum. Okay, um, in, uh, it's never as easy as it looks. Ugh. Okay, gosh, quite a thin uh, Blu-ray case, uh, thinner than usual, uh, which is grand, not complaining. But again, uh, keeps that, that same cover going, which I'm really, really feckin' loving. I've also just seen their uh, Instagram post of their Hong Kong uh, titles and Taiwanese titles that they have coming up in 2023. And I am really, really rooting for these guys and hoping for big things uh, from Error 4444 because <laughs> they're actually going to be putting out Restored on Blu-ray, Moon Lee's Fail Termination, which I am shitting a brick for. Uh, and I cannot wait. Oh my God. Okay, anyway, this is the, this is the Blu-ray. Uh, what comes with this? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right. Uh, a 2K restoration of uncut film elements at 95 minutes, a 2K animal cruelty free cut at 94 minutes, for those of you that are squeamish and vegan, um, predicting ultraviolence, Hong Kong's category three rating, a featurette on category three, which is I, I'm excited for, it's always great to see, uh, spot the difference, centipede horror censorship, a teaser trailer and a trailer, Cantonese and Mandarin audio tracks, and new English and Chinese subtitles. Region A, B, and C, like they all should be. Vinegar Syndrome. Um, absolutely amazing. Fantastic. Cannot wait to get into this. Of course, oh, on that uh, list for 2023, I also saw, saw that they are going to be releasing Red to Kill and Run to Kill, which I'm fucking excited for as well because I cannot find these movies anywhere. Uh, inside, we have got... A beautifully designed disc there. Uh, I think I saw that on one of the lobby cards. And of course then uh, a reversible sleeve which carries the new artwork here. Uh, and then on the other side the original uh, Hong Kong piece. Which I'm going to be putting in here because we obviously have quite a bit of the new artwork. Again which I love but it's always nice to see something different. Lovely. Gorgeous. The only thing that it doesn't um, talk about on the back here is the extra features involved, which is interesting, but still very cool. Very, very cool indeed. Okay. Love it. Love it. Love it. Very excited. Okay. So yeah, I've nothing to put this up against. I've nothing to match the quality on. Uh, I'm hoping there will be something that hasn't been restored on here, so I can see what it did look like uh, up and uh, through to what they have restored, which will be amazing. Um, but other than that, yes, I'm gonna go check it out and I'll be back soon to let you know what I think. So just back after checking out the Blu-ray release of Centipede Horror from Error 4444, this US independent label, and I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, I It's the first time I've ever watched the movie. Uh, it wasn't as I, had expected, certainly not. Uh, I think the movie itself was just a fine movie. It's a lot of fun. There's certainly uh, some gross moments throughout there to enjoy, but it's not the best of the uh, the black magic movies I've seen from the classic Hong Kong horror genre. Uh, that said, its presentation was pretty cool. It's not the quality you would come to expect from the likes of 88 films or Eureka. It's not pristine. Uh, in fact, they do show a... Uh, piece of text at the start letting us know how damaged the, the negative was to work with and just how much work it was to try and make this as clean as it is. Now some scenes certainly jump out and look spectacular, other scenes are very grainy and a wee bit maybe less polished than others. Uh, that said, it's not unlike uh, the Blu-ray quality you would get from French label Spectrum Films where they have left some uh, grain or speckles on there and dust on there. Um, but it does remind you that you are watching a film. There's a lot of these uh, cleanups and restorations in 4K especially pull you out of that film world. This kind of keeps you in there. Uh, but yes, still very, very enjoyable to watch. Still great in terms of what they've done with it. And you can see 
that comparison of the restoration and the old video like quality when you actually watch in the extra features the censorship comparison runs for about eight minutes just over eight minutes um featuring uh, a particular scene where there's a woman stood uh, naked uh, the cut version tries to hide some of that nudity whereas the uncut version which is the restored version um, allows you to see everything but when you're watching it side by side you can see the cleanup uh, with the colours and the sharpness involved there so you can. Uh, the original credits were kind of cool to watch uh, nothing overly exciting with them probably runs for about three and a half maybe closer to four minutes on that and then the introduction to Cat 3 which was a an independent featurette uh, runs for about five minutes uh, just introducing people to the Cat 3 genre which was pretty cool to watch I'd like to have seen more but it was pretty cool to watch. The teaser and the trailer are actually the new teasers and trailers that Error 4444 have put out there in the run-up to their releases. I would have liked to have seen uh, perhaps the original Hong Kong trailer on there also. It just would have been a wee bit something extra to give out there to the fans. And maybe an audio commentary uh, would have been good to liven this up a wee bit more. Um, the, the movie itself can be quite slow in places, so uh, I, I guess an exciting commentary always helps when it comes to that kind of thing. So the movie itself may not be for everyone if you're really not into that black magic uh, genre from uh, the late 70s, early 80s. But all in all, what a fantastic package. Like uh, I can see the work put into this and you, you could see the excitement whenever I was opening the box. That's That that for me was everything. Um, so if, if Error 4444 are going to keep this up, I am absolutely busting to see what's going to come from them in the near future here and I would imagine within the next year or two they are certainly going to climb the ladder in being one of the best distributors of Hong Kong movies uh, that, that are right there. So for now yes happy that this is in my collection definitely a double thumbs up for me from the work involved here and what's included and how this is presented uh, and I hope to see more from them pretty soon. Thank you very much for checking out another video here on Invincible Asia. Follow me on Instagram at Invincible Asia and at Movie Misfit. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell and all that jibber jibber. Once we've reached 1000 subscribers here on the channel, I'm going to be giving away an Invincible Asia t-shirt to one lucky winner every month. And you've more of a chance of winning the more you like those videos, the more you comment, because then I'm going to like you more and I'm going to pull your name closer to the top of the hat so you have more chances of winning.